Hello and welcome to video number two and I guess what is a series of videos on my new uh, Python project. I'm working to make a, a video game engine uh, at first for 2D games. Um, you can uh, learn more about that and what I've used to set up my initial environment uh, in the first video that I posted on YouTube. Uh, at the end of that first video I had started uh, the graphical user interface or GUI system for the game engine and that's what I've been working on since then. Uh, today I added a uh, very important feature that allows you to put uh, one GUI control uh, within another GUI control. So uh, as an example that you'd see when you're using this, um, you'd have one window with several windows inside of it that can all be moved around individually, but that cannot be moved outside of their parent window. Uh, so it's all about parent-child relationships uh, one object owns another object and that object can own its own object um, and you know one parent can have multiple children that kind of thing um, and the engine keeps track of all that for you so when you're moving these main windows around all of the objects inside them are moved as well and uh, displayed correctly uh, I've got two examples here for you uh, the example on the left which is this dark gray window here uh, is the more complex example and that is because it has a window within a window within a window and so on. Um, like I said this is a main window it's you know, just like the example that uh, we had in, in video one except uh, on the inside it has another window and that window can be moved around by itself and it's also limited uh, so that it cannot be moved outside of its parent window. Uh, that window also owns a window and you see that here. Uh, that window owns a window and there's one more uh, window inside of that. So you can see how uh, they all move together uh, when you move the main window around. So it's very cool uh, that, that it's able to do that. Uh, the, uh, main, uh, the main window that you see here on the right has four children all on the same level. Uh, red, green, blue, and yellow windows. And I can move each of them by themselves. or I can move the white background window to move the entire thing. So uh, being able to uh, put one GUI object uh, within another GUI object uh, should prove to be very useful um, you know, for putting, uh, putting uh, buttons inside of windows and things like that. Um, that's all I've got for you uh, right now. Hopefully by the end of this coming weekend, it's Wednesday now, uh, so by the end of this coming weekend I'd like to have um, the GUI system pretty well rounded out with some recognizable examples, uh, windows that look like windows with buttons that you can use to close them or maximize or minimize them, um, you know, buttons with text, uh, buttons that you know, change when you hover the mouse over them, things like that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how far I can get uh, between now and then, uh, but uh, I'll be sure to post screenshots or more YouTube videos to keep you guys up to date.